Nathan here from the ebookreader.com for this video I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the advanced features on the new Kobo Touch so uh, since I did the first review they've changed the firmware they've updated the firmware a couple of times so they've changed a lot of things uh, there's a lot more features now so I thought I'd go ahead and put together this supplementary video showing some of the additional features on the Kobo Touch that they've added with the new updates so the main um, addition here is there's a lot new a lot more font types now so they added uh, new fonts and you can actually go in and add your own fonts all you got to do is put a folder uh, called fonts on your the root of the Kobo Touch and you can add uh, other fonts to it. So like I added a couple here. So if you wanted like a bold font, you could just put the bold version of the font in. So that's kind of what I did here with Arial, so the Arial bold. Um, so you can also use other type of stuff like italics. You can add all kinds of fonts, any kind of true type or open type font. Um, so you got a lot of options. Uh, I've got a few more in here. I've got the scroller right there. Um, so yeah, you got some different options with the um, the fonts now. Um, previously it was just uh, two fonts and then now they've got a whole bunch of different settings, advanced settings as well. We've got, uh, there's the usual bunch of, there's a whole bunch of um, font sizes, there's like over a dozen. And then there's all these um, advanced settings now for adjusting the line spacing and adjusting the margins. So there's a number of settings in here, you just keep hitting the plus um, icons here or you can just jump all the way ahead if you want to just go like that. Um, so there's also this justification uh, setting down here. If you want to have, say, uh, fully justified with the margins on both sides like this, you can have it like this now. So it'll, with this setting you have like a little bit bigger spaces between the words. Or you can go ahead and turn that off or just uh, set it to um, justify left, which is this setting right here. So you'll have the jagged edge more on the right side here. So yeah, you've got uh, some new options for layout. Uh, there's some other stuff in here. What else do we have here? Um, yeah, just the justification, the Kobo styling doesn't really do anything at this point, I don't think. Um, the other settings in here we've got, okay, so we've got the dictionary now is available to actually type in words. So if you can type in a word here, and you get the, can look up dictionaries this way. Before you could only tap on a word to look up a dictionary. So that's a new feature as well. Um, this was in here when I did the initial review, so this was added earlier, but uh, yeah, you've got the refresh time, you can set how many pages you want to when the uh, page does the full page refresh. And they've also got this new feature with the latest update, you can turn out the page numbers and the margins. Sometimes EPUB books will have like a page, small page numbers and the margins, so you can turn that on and off um, as well now. Um, so what else we've got here, so um, one really cool thing is, so this isn't a Kobo ebook, that was a Kobo ebook. Um, now with non-Kobo ebooks you can actually use the dictionary as well. Just hold down on a word and you get the dictionary option down here. Still no highlights for these type um, for side loaded books, but you do got that new feature for that. And so they've got all the same settings too. You've got all the font types and everything. One thing I've noticed, if you've modified the book with caliber, a lot of times the margins won't adjust. That's kind of one detail that I've noticed. If you've already modified something, um, it might not adjust the margins, but the other features, they all seem to work well. Different font sizes, obviously. And you can change the fonts too with the side loaded books. Uh, the last little thing that they've added, it's this little um, note, or it's just this little, it's in the extras menu over here, it's this little sketch app here, where you can use your finger to write stuff on the screen. Okay, so that's uh, about it for the changes as far as um, what has changed with the Kobo Touch since the initial review, so uh, all the other details I was covered in the first video, so um, thank you for watching.